In this video, we're going to be using the given zeros to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, and we may be given some complex zeros, uh, or some of the zeros that we're not given may turn out to be complex zeros. So we'll use synthetic division with the given zeros to get a quadratic, and then we'll either factor or use the quadratic formula uh, to write the other, uh, the other terms. All right, so if 3 is a 0, x minus 3 is a factor. And if 3 is a 0, we can use synthetic division by putting the 3 out front and then putting the coefficients of each one of these inside. Now, keep in mind that you, if you start with an x cubed term, you need each squared and x and a constant. If you're missing any one of those, put a 0 as a placeholder. Okay, we're not missing any, so I'm going to begin. So we drop the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add multiply, add, and we do get zero. Okay, so the resulting quadratic um, is going to be one degree less than this, so x squared, so one x squared, which is x squared, plus six x, plus 34. Okay, so that's f of x. Now let's see if we can factor that. Okay, so are there two numbers that multiply to get 34 that add to get six? And there aren't. Uh, there aren't that many numbers that are, are that many things that will multiply to get 34, uh, but none of them will add to get 6. So we are going to have to use the quadratic formula for this. Okay, so for the quadratic formula, we need a, a, b, and c. And keep in mind the quadratic formula is x is equal to plus or minus, um, oh, negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we get x is equal to negative b, so negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 34, all divided by 2 times 1, okay? So that will give us is x equals to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 36 minus 136. Okay, so that is all divided by 2. Now 36 minus 136, I'm going to have to move over here, but 36 minus 136 is negative 100, so I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 100 over 2. Okay, and that becomes, if you know how to take the square root of negative numbers, that's going to be 10i, 10i, so negative 6 plus or minus 10i over 2. Okay, so that will be x is equal to, if we divide the 2 into each, negative 3 plus or minus 5i for our two solutions. Okay, now if we write this in factored form, we will get f of x is equal to, now our first factor was a x minus 3, and then we'll get x minus, and we're going to do two of them here, x minus negative 3 plus 5i, and x minus negative 3 minus 5i. Uh, yes, two negatives. Okay, now we can't leave it in this form, so we need to do a little more multiplication. Okay, so I need to, first of all, I need to multiply these two out. So actually, you may be able to leave it in that form after all. So this will be our final answer here. Okay, let's try another one. So we've got, let's get this out of the way here. Okay, so x cubed plus, minus 5x squared plus 28x plus 34, and x minus 1 is a 0. Okay, so uh, let me write that down real fast on a di different sheet of paper for more room. Okay, here we go. So we know that negative 1 is a 0. Okay, so that means that x minus a negative 1 is a factor. That's x plus 1. Okay, so 
let's let's see what else we can do with this thing. Let's let's use synthetic division. So we'll put the negative one out front of the house. Looks like there's no missing terms. X cubed, x squared, x, and constant. So we can put the numbers here. One, negative five, twenty-eight, thirty-four. Now, if this actually is a zero, then we'll get an answer of, of zero as our remainder down here. Okay, in this last box. Okay, so let's drop our one, multiply with negative one, negative six, uh, six, and that's going to be 34, and I multiply and I get negative 34, and I get zero as my remainder, which is good. So this is x squared minus six x plus 34. That's what this means. We went down by one exponent. And we also have uh, x plus one right here as a factor. Okay, this one looks like it's unfactorable, pretty close. It's actually real close to the last one that we did. So this is unfactorable. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. A is equal to one, B is equal to negative six, and C is equal to 34. Okay, so x is equal to negative B, so negative, negative six plus or minus square root of negative six squared, that's b squared, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is 34, all over two times one, or just two. I could put the one there, but I don't need it. Okay, so that becomes x is equal to six plus or minus the square root of, it's very similar, it's going to be 36 minus 136 over two, that's 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 100 over 2, which is 6 plus or minus 10i over 2, which is, divide that in, 3 plus or minus 5i. Okay, so just like the last one, we're going to write it in its factors. So the first one would be x plus 1. That's h of x. h of x is equal to x plus 1. Okay, and then we have x minus 3 plus 5i and x minus 3 minus 5i. And that's it on that one. Okay, let's do one last one here. So we're given the x, we have an x to the fourth function and we're given that one is a zero of multiplicity two. So if one is a zero of multiplicity two, that means x minus one and another x minus one are your factors, okay? So you can do this two different ways. You can multiply this through and then use long division to divide it into this, or you can just use synthetic division twice to get this from an x to the fourth down to an x squared. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So I'll put the one out front we're not missing any terms. We'll start with an x to the fourth, and we have all the terms. So 1, 2, 6, negative 22, 13. Okay, so drop your 1. Multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, and get 0 as your remainder. Okay, so this would be x cubed plus uh, 3x squared plus 9x minus 13. Now we're going to do synthetic division again with a 1 again because it said it had a multiplicity 2, so it happens twice. So I'll put the 1 out front again, and I'll put these numbers, or the coefficients of these numbers, in. So 1, 3, 9, negative 13. Okay, so I drop that first term. Multiply, add, 4, multiply, Add, multiply, add, and get 0. Okay, so this is x squared plus 4x plus 13. Okay, so, and that's all times x minus 1, x minus 1, or x minus 1 squared. Okay, now, let's see if we can factor this thing. Two numbers that multiply to get 13, but add to get 4. There's only two numbers that multiply to get 13. That's 13 and 1. And that doesn't work. So quadratic formula it is. A equals 1. B equals 4. C equals 13. So negative B. Negative 4 plus or minus. The square root. Of B squared. So 4 squared. Minus 4 times 1. That's A times C. Which is 13. All over 2 times 1 or 2. And that is X equals. 
Okay, so we're finding the zeros here with the quadratic formula. All right, so that gives us negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 52 divided by 2, which gives us negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 36 over 2. Okay, we can go ahead and take that square root. It becomes 6i because of the negative. So that's negative 4 plus or minus 6i over 2, which is, divide the 2 into it, you get negative 2 plus or minus 3i. Okay, so g of x is equal to the following. x minus 1 times x minus 1. You can also write that as x minus 1 squared. And then x minus negative 2 plus 3i, and then x minus negative 2 minus 3i. And that's it.